Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a quick tutorial about how to just get set up and going if you're running video and lights. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll up the cabinet. And once you get in here, you're gonna want to lift these screens up. So we use this remote. Uh, we just press the up button, which causes the platform to rise. And you'll see that there's a line on the wall back there. Uh, we wanna, wanna line up just a little below that. And then we do have to hit the stop button, which is in the middle of the remote. So the stop button is right here. Once you've raised the screens, then you can reach over here to the tower and there is a power button down in the lower right side. So you press that and it'll bring your computers up. So while this is booting up, one of the things that you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn your projectors on. So you have this one that is for rear projector. Uh, I found that it works best if you aim at the screen behind you and press on. And it won't immediately react. Uh, it'll take 10, 15 seconds and then you'll see it start to come on. And then it, to turn on the uh, two front projectors, we're going to use this largest uh, remote and we're going to just press on and uh, those as well, you won't see them come on immediately, but they will come on in a few seconds. One of the things that, that we also need to remember to do when we come in for morning worship, for a cappella worship, uh, is to go out into the Great Hall and turn on the TVs. So to turn on the TVs, we're gonna use these two remotes. The smaller one is for the remotes on the east side of the Great Hall, and the, the bigger one is for the two TVs on the west side of the Great Hall. So you'll just step out into the hall and turn those on. Okay, once our computer is on, then we will go to Administrator. We'll click on administrator and enter our password. Uh, we will keep the password written and posted on the desk over here on the left. So if this happens to ever change, you can find the new password there on the table. Okay, so once your computer is booted up, you have the option to use the Stream Deck. The Stream Deck is just uh, like a little remote that has uh, certain buttons on it that will help you to move through the uh, pro presenter um, presentation uh, it, it just kind of simplifies things so if you want to use it uh, you're welcome to some people uh, choose to use the keyboard and the and the mouse instead which is just fine as well so if you want to activate the stream deck you're going to go down to this application here and you're going to click that and that's going to bring up that's going to turn on your uh, your remote, your Stream Deck remote over there, and then you can click hide to hide that away. Now you'll see that the Stream Deck is turned on and that gives you some options on uh, things you can use to run through the slideshow. Okay, so as you begin to get ready to uh, do the slideshow, you will just need to go down to this menu down at the bo bottom of the screen. And the one that says Pro is our Pro Presenter. You click that once and it will bring up Pro Presenter. So when Pro Presenter turns on, you're gonna see uh, the, the display, the, the things that, that will uh, be presented that day during the service. Uh, if you need to change services, see this one is set on the instrumental service. So we want to change to acapella. So we'll just click there and it will bring uh, our order of worship up for a cappella. Okay, so right now the stream deck is, is set up. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you've got, you've just got a previous, you've got a next button. So when you're in the middle of your slideshow, let me go ahead and click onto one of the songs here. So say we're in the middle of, of uh, one of the songs. As you need to advance the slides, you can press next and it will advance the slides on the slideshow. Um, if for some reason you need to go back, say Sam uh, repeats a chorus, you can hit the back and it'll uh, bounce one back. Um, or if uh, something happens, 
uh, and you need to quickly clear the screen, you have those options down here. You can clear the slide, you can clear the background, or clear everything. So when you hit the clear everything, it'll turn the screen black. Okay, so once you are into ProPresenter, um, you'll see here uh, this top, the top line is always going to be your pre-service. And so uh, as you get there, as, as uh, people start getting here in the mornings, you want to, you want to start running these. Now, the slides in pre-service are timed, and so they will automatically switch from slide to slide. And then with five minutes until service, it will automatically uh, begin a countdown. So you'll, you will have a five minute countdown. So once the countdown reaches zero, you are in charge from that point on. So it's gonna be a manual transition uh, from side to side from that point on. Um, so when you're in the countdown, uh, when it reaches zero, you will want to advance it either using the stream deck or the keyboard and we will go straight, usually straight into the welcome video. Now ProPresenter is a, a pretty big and, and pretty uh, in-depth program. Uh, this is just kind of the very basics on, on how to run this during service. If you are interested in learning more about building slides or building order of worship or anything like that, uh, we can certainly get together and uh, talk about uh, those things. But what we're doing right now is just how do I run this for service? Okay, so when you reach the end of service, there's going to be usually a, a final song, and then from the final song, we will go into the uh, family news slide. Um, so this week, you'll see it's Malcolm who, who does that. We'll let this video run. Now, when, we fin when this video is over, uh, we will begin dismissing uh, the congregation. And so this... After, after the family news runs, then we should manually click on to the final slide. Once again, this group of final slides, they are timed, and so they will switch automatically. So once you're at this slide, you can uh, take your attention away from the slideshow. Um, and then we will uh, you know, bring the lights up and uh, everybody will be uh, dismissed. So once everybody has exited, um, there are a few things that we need to do in order to uh, shut down the system. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my screens. I'm going to turn off the projectors. So once again, we're, we're using the, whoops, we're using the small screen that says rear projector on it to turn off this rear projector. It always works best for me if, if I aim at the, at the wall behind me. Um, it'll ask you if you're sure. So you want to click it and then click it a second time to turn it off. Uh, the same thing is true for the projectors up front. We're going to use this remote, the, the big remote, hit the, uh, the red button once. It asks me if I'm sure. Hit it again and it turns them off. Once those are off, then I'm going to turn off my Pro Presenter. I'm going to uh, click on uh, Pro Presenter and then scroll down to quit. Are you sure? Yes, I am. So I'll turn that off and I'll close any other programs that I have open. And then I'm going to go to the Apple symbol and go down to shut down. And I'm gonna turn off the whole computer. Once I've turned off the computer and it is shutting down, I can lower it back into place. I'll once again use this remote. I'll click the down button. And we have a, a, a line on the wall uh, down there. Uh, that's kind of a, you, you need to definitely turn it off by this point kind of line. Um, and there it is. And so then I clicked the center button to stop, uh, stop the track. Uh, it is important for you to stop it on the way down. Uh, also, you're going to want to turn off the, the light board. And so to turn this off, you're going to hold down the power button until it asks you if you're sure. And yes, I'm sure I'll proceed. And so that'll turn itself off as well. So after the lighting console is shut down, 
Then you want to get the two remotes for the TVs in the Great Hall. So once again, I'm, I'm gonna take the, the larger one that says Philips and the smaller one that says Insignia. The smaller one that says Insignia turns off the TVs on the east side of the Great Hall, and the larger one turns off the TVs on the west side of the Great Hall. Uh, we wanna make sure that we turn those off uh, after service every week. Once we've turned off the TVs and put the remotes back here on the desk, then we can close up the, the roll top of the desk and lock it up and make sure everything is secure. If you get here and, and you need just some quick reminders of, of what, a, what am I supposed to do or, or what is uh, important for me to check and make sure it is turned on or turned off or whatever, we do have some checklists uh, taped down to the desk here. So you can use these as a reference uh, while you're here just to make sure that uh, we're, uh, we're looking at everything we need to look at either before, uh, between, or after services.